MG Covers coming to you live Monday, October the 21st, 2019. We're going to give you a free play video uh, coming off a big weekend at NFL. We're going to get to that uh, as well. So hope everybody had a profitable Sunday. Got an interesting but probably lopsided matchup tonight in NFL. Uh, may touch on that a little bit later, but anyway, let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at my record. Uh, this is from August 1st until now. These are all my fall sports that I'm currently playing, NFL, soccer, NHL, NCAA football. And I want to talk real quick about uh, what you see out there. So if, you, if, if you're looking at a handicapper and they're not disclosing their year-to-date record and their year-to-date unit total, there's a couple things. Number one, they're probably not winning long-term. We are. Um, and... Second, secondly, they're probably not really um, actual playing the plays that they're sending out to you. So full disclosure and what you see a lot of in this business. And again, my, part of my uh, disposition, those of you that have, have watched me in the past, is I'm, I'm trying to clean this industry up because um, there's just so much BS, total BS, uh, unit manipulation, people deceiving people in order to sell picks. That's our primary business where me as a professional sports handicapper, my primary business is making money from sports betting. And then the actual pick selling side of all this, uh, God, that sounds so negative, doesn't it? Pick selling. Um, it is, it's sort of like a side hustle per se, which means, I mean, I make just, where's the camera at? Fractional, fractional money on the uh, selling side of it. Um, and, and just, you know, the majority of my, my, my income from all this, comes from sports betting and not the pick selling so anyway full disclosure as which is which is what i like and usually what you'll see too is they'll manipulate it i, I was looking at a couple things this morning they'll show um on our five we're five and one on our five star diamond plays <laughs> we're, we're six and two on monday nights so all that's good i guess and i would probably post that but at the end of the day what determines whether you're not whether you're good or not in this business is can you show a profit long term? Short term doesn't mean anything. Long term is what matters. So anyway, sorry about the rant. Uh, NFL, we're 18 and 10, really good season here, guys. 13.03 uh, units. Uh, soccer, 14 and 21. We were up five units going into the weekend, guys. Eight. We we were we went 0 and 8 this weekend in soccer. So that put us down at two and a half units. Uh, it was just a really weird, weird weekend. The German League and EPL League both were coming off international break. So probably something that I should have factored in as well. Most teams were. It made teams more even, you know what I mean, with, with two weeks off. Even though a lot of them were playing, you know, still playing. Uh, NHL uh, took a loss yesterday. Still nine and eight, up two units, 1.8 units uh, year to date. And today's October 21st. This is usually when I start playing uh, NHL anyway because most teams have played about 10 games. It gives my stat model enough stats to become more predictable per se. So actually we're at an advantage even though we were up, I think, five units at one time. Started like two weeks ago. So really excited about NHL. NHL finished up 30 units last year, so I think we will definitely come close to that. That was my best year, but definitely – 20 units by the uh, end of March. NCAA football took two losses over the weekend, 12 and 13, down 0.09, so basically even even there. So if you add all that up, we're still at 13 units. A $100 player from August 1st would be up $1,300. Uh, those of you that know me, I've wagered dimes, so that's up 13 grand from August. And again, prior to this weekend, we were all the way up 22 uh, units. So just that tough weekend in soccer, and it happens. Uh, big shout-out to my future sponsors, Canada Dry Diet. I'm, as I've gotten older, I just love diet, uh, diet ginger ale. Used to be a Mountain, uh, Mountain Dew drinker. But anyway, uh, check out the website, mgcovers.com, if you're interested in, in purchasing a package. Uh, let's talk about Sports Watch Monitor. It's the monitoring service I use. Uh, before we get to that, I'm going to show you my betting log. This is my uh, betting log for NFL. I do this for every single sport. It's kind of like having a receipt. It's kind of like a P&L statement for somebody that owns a business. It shows... Uh, what I wagered, the actual line, and the record, everything. Again, going back to what the little rant I went on earlier, if you if you, if you you see a handicapper and you want to know if he's BS or not, just send him an email today or a DM said, hey, can you send me your betting log and see if they can produce it like that. I can send you a betting log for every single sport, every one of them, within seconds because 
that, that's what all professional sports bettors use. They have a betting log. So if somebody doesn't have a betting log, um, they're full of it. And number and the second thing, they're probably not actually playing those picks that they're sending out. So and if somebody just discloses their record, let me tell you something. Record doesn't mean anything, guys. It means absolutely nothing. So if you see somebody that's just posting their record, somebody could be sixty percent in even money if the majority of their wagers are averaging minus one fifty. Guys, that's even because minus one fifty is sixty percent. So if they th- say we're winning sixty percent of our games. But if the money line is averaging minus 150, that's even, guys. So anyway, sorry about another rant, but I'm like I said, I just like bringing you guys the truth, being transparent. Um, played the Eagles for a third unit last night. The reason I did that uh, is that we were up two and a half units after winning that. But check out that streak, guys. We were on a six-game win streak in the NFL. Stat models on point there. And if you haven't watched the NFL handicapping videos, it's on my page. Go back and watch those as well. I have parts one, parts two, and parts three. And it looks – my lock, betting lock for NFL looks different than most because we play we play dogs and um, where most people play spreads. And I explain that in the video if you want to watch that. Okay, shooting on over here to sportswatchmonitor.com. If, you're, if you don't know what a monitoring service is, in essence, you send them your plays beforehand. And once you send them, you can't change the plays. And then once the game starts, they release your play to the general public – so to prove that, that you actually played that game. And then, of course, they post the results. And you can see down here, um, this is me. This is just for regular season. Uh, when I joined, um, they break it up into preseason, regular season. So what you're seeing on the left here, this is my year to date that includes preseason. This on the right includes uh, just the regular season. So we're 15th in the world, uh, NFL uh, per sports watch monitor. So proud of that. Hopefully we can improve, get up there uh, Maybe crack the top five, uh, top ten here before the season's over. Whew, 100 miles an hour. So let's look at my line versus the odds makers line in today's free pick. Uh, game we're going to look at, we're going to look at NHL, Colorado, St. Louis. Colorado is playing excellent hockey right now. Their power ranking is 118. Our power ranking, St. Louis, is 100. Power ranking uh, kind of down a little bit, kind of hangover from uh, winning the uh, cup last year. Colorado, our line, that translates into a minus 140 line for us. St. Louis, 100 power ranking translates into a uh, plus 100 line, which means basically St. Louis has a 50% chance of winning the game, and Colorado right at probably 58% chance of winning. Excuse me. So the actual line, when you look at it, sports books, uh, this is probably around – what time is it? One o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So we had Colorado. Looked like Colorado was getting dog money plus one twenty one. St. Louis was the favorite minus one thirty four. If you look at the margin between the minus one forty five and plus one twenty one, that gives us a margin for Colorado of forty six percent. And again, just thinking in layman's terms, we're buying Colorado at a forty six percent discount, which is great, great value. Um, so our free play is going to be Colorado plus 121. And again, I do not just look at the stat model. There's sev- several other factors that I that I factor in as well, which is what I call situational angles. Let's talk about that briefly. Uh, Bennington will be in that for St. Louis. Had a great rookie season last year. However, he is struggling a lot. This year he started his first three games. This year he gave up two, two, and three goals. His last three games he's given up three, three, and five goals. And he's going to play – play a Colorado team today that has put in 35 goals in eight games. Colorado's a good team, which is another situational angle I'll look at. Also, uh, you've heard me mention Colorado is on this long road streak. They're playing their third game in four days, and that's something that you have to look at and have to factor in. So they will be fatigued. However, where I really factor that in, if a team is playing their third game in four days and that third game is back-to-back, That can be tiresome. They actually were – Colorado was off yesterday, so they had a little bit of rest there. And you have to take in consideration the line. We're getting huge value. Um, If we were looking to play St. Louis in that same scenario, St. Louis was playing its third game in four days, might not play it considering they only have a 50% chance of winning the game anyway. So you have to process it all, and that's the difficult part of being a successful sports better. Uh, Power play – Colorado is 20% on a power play, 87% on a penalty kill. St. Louis, 18%. 
on the power play, 86% on the penalty kill. So they're relatively even special team-wise, but just even teams, Colorado definitely has the edge. So we're going to play Colorado with a free play for 121. And as always, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The screen name MG Covers, covered spelled with a Z. Hope everybody has a profitable night, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Mom, mom, mom.